Get the worksheet used in this lesson, as well as hundreds of others, at mathcation.com. This video is about congruent shapes. You can get the worksheet used in this video for free by clicking on the link in the description below. So in talking about congruent shapes, you have to understand that congruent shapes mean that the shapes have to be identical. This means that they have the same size and shape. Problem 1 gives us two triangles. These triangles look like they are the same size and shape even though the orientation is different. So even though the triangles are rotated, so it looks like this has been spun or spun over, they look like they are the same exact size and the same exact shape. Because of this, they are congruent. Our second problem gives us two rectangles. The rectangles are the same shape, but they are different sizes. So this one is obviously bigger than this one, so this would not be congruent. And then number three, same thing. We have two arrows pointing straight up. They are the same shape, but they are different sizes, so they are also not congruent. The second part of our congruent shape worksheet asks us to describe the sequence of transformations that results in the transformation from figure A to figure A prime. Now when they say a sequence of transformations, what they're referring to is either translation, rotations, or reflections. So when it says describe the sequence of transformations, what they want you to do is to look at figure A and explain in terms of translations, rotations, and reflections how you move from shape A to A prime. Looking at the first problem in the second part of our congruent shapes worksheet, we have figure A here, which I'm going to outline in red. And you have to get it to figure A prime, which is over here, which I'm going to use blue for. In order to go from one to the other, you have to use either rotation, reflection, or a translation. We can eliminate a couple of those just by looking at this problem. A translation is a slide, which means the whole shape would slide either left or right or up or down. And you can tell if you slide this, it's not going to line up. So we can go ahead and eliminate translation. The easiest way to transform this from this shape into this shape is to reflect across the y-axis. So if we take our figure and we reflect across the y-axis, all the points will line up. In order to double check this, we can count how many spaces away from the y-axis each point is. So this is three. So if you go in this direction, that is also three. And then down bottom, we're gonna count three over. And then if you go this way, count three over and it's here. This is 8 away, and then this will also be 8 away, and then this will also line up with this over here. So we can use a reflection across the y-axis to translate our figure A into A prime. So the solution for this first problem is that we have to reflect over the y-axis. Problem 3 gives us two triangles. Now we have to transform figure A into figure A prime. Now we can go ahead and outline A in red so you can see it better. If we were to translate this straight up, this would not work because we have to flip the shape around. It has to be spun. So what we're going to do is we're going to reflect across the x-axis this time so that we change the orientation of the shape. So we'll reflect. And when we reflect, we're going to count the spaces away from the x-axis each point is, or each vertice is. So this will be 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So you go 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. Now this time, when we draw our triangle, it does not line up perfectly with our new figure. So we still have to move it one more time. What we're going to do is, we're going to take our shape and we're going to move it to the right two and then down one. So each vertice will go right two and then down one and then right two and then down one. So our new and final shape will be here. So our solution will be we first have to 
reflect across the x axis and then translate x plus 2 y minus 1 because we went right to and then down 1 and that's our solution if you found this video helpful make sure you drop a like subscribe to our channel or check out our website for more premium math content thanks for watching